This clip is going to review the cell cycle and stages of mitosis. What we have here is interphase. Understand that 90% of the cell's life is spent during this stage of interphase, where the cell is going to undergo a G1 growth or gap phase, a synthesis phase where it's going to make DNA, and a G2 phase with a final growth. Now histologically, we can see the nuclear envelope or nuclear membrane is fully intact, and the chromatin is lightly dispersed throughout that nucleus. This is going to be our first phase of mitosis. We can see that this is going to be characterized by the condensing of the chromatin into rod-shaped chromosomes. The nuclear envelope has disintegrated and is completely gone. And we're going to start seeing the formation of the mitotic microtubules or spindle fibers. The second stage of mitosis that's demonstrated here is going to be metaphase. This is going to be characterized nicely by the lining of our chromosomes along the center of the cell, also known as the metaphyseal plate. The spindle fibers have nicely connected to the kinetochore of each chromosome, and it will begin to enter into the third phase. Now, at the pointer, we have our third phase of mitosis. This is called anaphase. It is going to be characterized by the splitting of the chromosomes into sister chromatids. Those microtubules are going to shorten or physically rip apart those chromosomes at the kinetochore. They're going to condense maximally, again, pulling those sister chromatids to the poles of the cells. Our last and final stage of mitosis is telophase. Chromosomes decondense and are going to be surrounded by a newly formed nuclear envelope. Now, cytokinesis typically coincides with anaphase and telophase and ends with this complete split of two genetically identical daughter cells. Now, one of the key characteristics histologically that's going to separate anaphase from telophase is the formation of that cleavage furrow that that pointer is pointing to right now and still the connection of those spindle fibers.